Um, we, we're well known, and uh, we're basically made a, um, an observation that you won't be able to replace the use of oil uh, without actually providing a full solution for the way we drive cars. And, uh, and we started with a very interesting question, uh, and Luak and I actually, uh, we were in, uh, in Davos in 2005, and we got asked the question by, Carlo, by Klaus Schwab, um, how are you going to make the world a better place by 2020? And to me it translated to a question, uh, how are you going to run a country without oil? And from that question, uh, after making every possible mistake on paper, which is good because if you make it on paper it's actually faster, uh, I went down biofuels and hydrogen and all these other ideas and then evolved to a question of uh, how would you make an electric car with today's batteries, with today's science, with today's economics, uh, more convenient and more affordable than a gasoline car. So you got to a point where they ran out of the two most important molecules, oil and air. And when you can't breathe in a city and you don't have oil, you really want to get off of oil. And then they found out that the interesting um, effect is they can leapfrog the European and American car industry. So they can build an electric car much easier than they can build a, a great gasoline car. And if you look at where they are, next year, 2011, China will make more cars than Europe and the U.S. combined. And they see their ability to actually disrupt the global car industry by going electric and generating um, an advantage, if you want, a, a, an industrial advantage that will allow them to build the middle class. Because when the middle class was built both in the U.S. and Europe on the car industry. And so they're, they're thinking of it in much bigger terms. This is, they're building Detroit's. Not Detroit, but Detroit's for electric cars. And they've done it before with, with uh, electric scooters. One day they decided you're not allowed to take a gasoline scooter into the city. Yeah, and the non-democratic helps. These by, the, by the end of that same year, China made more, sco more electric scooters in the entire world. So um, they know how to do it. Now, it's the platform I, I've learned at SAP is, is to take a, a big technological problem, break it into a lot of small pieces, figure out the solution to the pieces and then put it back together again. But you got to apply it to your passion. My passion was peace in the Middle East. And when I try to connect the two, I figured if, if we can get the Middle East to wean off of oil as the sort of the, the main economic power, then all these countries would have to uh, divest, if you want, from oil economy into tourism and into uh, education and into uh, banking and media. And, you see what happens at the, Emir at the Emirates, you, you become modern. Yep. And by virtue of becoming modern, you want peace. And so I basically said, here's a way to get to peace in the Middle East with technology, which is what I know how to do. And you see that the same tools that apply to make the next version of SAP can apply to end oil. It's, it's the same set of, of capabilities, if you want, inside your platform. It's just a different application.